This year, NASA is hoping for its biggest Christmas gift yet, the successful launch of its new $10 billion space telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is set to lift off early Christmas morning. It's NASA's largest and most expensive piece of scientific equipment ever sent to space. Webb will replace the 31-year-old Hubble Space Telescope as the leading space observatory. Researchers hope it can tell us more about the history of our universe and give us more insight into our galaxy. For more on this, let's bring in CBS News senior space analyst Bill Harwood. Bill, great to see you as always. Scientists hope the James Webb Telescope will be able to give us a snapshot of what the birth of the universe. How is this telescope equipped to do that? Well, you know, it's really a combination of factors. To see that light, the light that's been coming toward us for the last 13.8 billion years or so since the birth of the universe, you have to have an infrared telescope because space itself is stretched out in all that time, so the light itself has stretched out into the infrared part of the spectrum. Uh, so Webb's equipped with instruments and a big primary mirror to catch that infrared light. They're sending it to a place called Lagrange Point 2. This is an orbit around the sun. It's about a million miles on the far side of the moon's orbit where it can operate in cold and darkness. And they're equipping it with a sunshade and other equipment to lower its temperature down to just 50 degrees above absolute zero, a phenomenally uh, cold piece of equipment so it can detect that very faint heat, that light from the birth of the universe. So it's a combination of all those things that are going to make this work. It sounds absolutely fascinating, especially when you look at that animation that we are showing. Now, the telescope is mounted atop of a tennis court size kite shaped sunshade. How is NASA planning to get such a large piece of equipment into space? Well, I'll tell you what, that is the $10 billion question. You know, to make it fit inside the Ariane 5's nose cone, they not only had to fold the mirror up, it's a segmented mirror so they can do that, they had to fold up this sunshade. And it's made up of five layers of a Kapton light material. It's, you know, if you think of the helium balloons, birthday balloons you might buy at the supermarket, it's that kind of material. Think about something made of such thin layers, the size of a tennis court, They've all got to be pulled out and tightened in place. In other words, they're going to pull them taut. That'll separate each of these layers by several inches. And that's what prevents the heat from the sun getting through to the telescope and helps it cool down. It's an incredibly complex operation. They've never done anything like this before. And if uh, you want something to get nervous about, uh, that sunshade deployment is, is it. Lots of mechanisms that simply have to work or this telescope won't work. Well, if anything should go wrong, the telescope will be millions of miles from Earth and out of reach of any possible fixes. What are the biggest challenges it faces on this mission? Well, it really all comes down to this first month of operation. It's going to take about uh, two weeks or so to get the sunshade deployed and then to unfold the big primary mirror and begin checking out the optics. Uh, it's going to be six months or something like that to do commissioning of the instruments and you know, make sure that focus is razor sharp so they get the images they want. All, every step along that way is, is critical and it simply has to work. Uh, so they've got some contingency plans. You're right, astronauts can't reach this telescope like they could with the Hubble and repair it. Uh, if something really seriously goes wrong, they're probably out of luck. But if there's some partial deployments, things like that, they have some techniques they might try to get that fixed. But at least I got to tell you, I mean, I can't say that every single thing has to work perfectly, but an awful lot of it does. This telescope's not going to work. So there's a lot of anxious astronomers out there tonight. I can't even imagine. I know you laid out that six-month timeline. How long will it take for the telescope to be full, fully operational, and when can we see those first images return to Earth? Yeah, you know, getting it down to less than 60 degrees above absolute zero is going to take several months. And in the process, the, the primary mirror on the telescope is made up of 18 segments. Each one of those segments can be tilted and tipped as needed uh, to bring the starlight to a focus. That's going to take several months uh, to get those things lined up with nanometer precision so the starlight comes to a focus. The first science instrument uh, observations, the first actual useful science from the telescope, is expected in about six months. All right. Well, Bill Harwood, thank you so much. My pleasure.